हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल लेट अस डिस्कस वन यू पी एस जी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ह्यूर थ्री नंबर्स विच आर को प्राइम्स टू ईच अदर आर सच दट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू इज फाइव फाइव वन एंड देन द लास्ट टू इज वन जीरो सेवन थ्री द सम ऑफ द थ्री नंबर्स इज ह्यूर इट इज गिवन दट थ्री नंबर्स विच आर को प्राइम वट डू मीन बाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ को प्राइम ऑब्वियसली एच सी एफ बिटवीन द मिस वन After that, it is given that just I am assuming that x, y, z as the three numbers which are co-prime. It is given that product of the first to two is five, five, one. Product of the last two is one, zero, seven, three. Obviously, here middle number is common to the both first. Two and last two. This logic you need to be very careful. Here, the two products have the same middle number, or else have the middle number in common. After knowing this, we need to identify that middle number. How to identify that middle number? that is the next thing you need to be very careful to identify the middle number just take the hcf between 5511073 how to take the hcf between two numbers actually this is all present in your ncert books but listen carefully i will teach you this is greater number which is smaller number the greater number divisible by the smaller number just proceed till you are getting the remainder as 0 1 times just 5 5 1 i am borrowing here therefore 2 2 5 here this remainder is less than the divisor in this case what you need to do just the divisor the previous divisor with the remainder divide again 1 times 5 2 2 just find out the remainder 2 9 in this case also the remainder is not zero what you have to do here the remainder is less than the divisor therefore write the previous divisor write the remainder here now check 1 times 2 9 leaves you 2 3 2 just i am borrowing here The four four the four four minus two is two. Now twenty nine eight sir, it exactly divides, which means that it leaves your remainder as zero. So in this case, the number which is giving you the remainder as zero, that is nothing but the HCF between the two numbers. The four, while dividing that number with twenty nine, it gives you a remainder as zero. The four. HCF is equal to twenty nine. So please learn the HCF concept. After learning this HCF concept, what we have to do is we need to identify the first number. How to identify the first number? To identify the first number, it is given that five five one, which means that the product of the numbers is five five one. Obviously, we can able to identify. the other number since first number into second number which is equal to 551 we have already found the middle number middle number is nothing but the second number to identify the first number what we need to do 551 divisible by the second number that is nothing but the middle number just substitute that middle number 551 divisible by middle number is nothing but the 29 So just divide this. If you divide this, surely you will get nineteen as the answer. Then, how to identify the third number? So understand the logic here. Here it is given that second number into third number, which is equal to one zero seven three. We know the second number. The second number is nothing but the middle number. That is the HCF. to identify the third number 
just bring that middle number to the divisor therefore 1073 divisible by 29 it leaves you resultant as 37 so we have found first number middle number and the last number here it is given that sum of the three numbers so therefore first number plus middle number that is i am just taking as s plus the last number that is third number that is t which is equal to first number is 19 middle number that is the second number 29 plus last number is 37 add these three values then you are getting the resultant as 85 therefore answer for this question is option c 85 thank you all have a good day suppose if you are having any doubts you may clarify so that i will help you thank you all have a good day